Hi, this is Amy M. Burns from amymburns.com, and this is the seventh tech tip in seven days. I hope you've been enjoying the series as much as I have. Please click like and subscribe and check back because, or get notifications, because even though it's summer for me, I am still adding to the blog and the YouTube channel, and these are great things that you can use in your elementary music classroom, or just tips or ideas or, you know, again, manipulatives and videos. So please check back and um, let's get started. Number seven is 123apps.com. So if you've never been here, it's like that one place that has collectively items that you probably search out on different sites to use. And what I mean by that are video tools, audio tools, document tools, image tools, converters. So at school, I am on a web-based Chromebook, right? There's, it's web-based. And I can't use things like Audacity because they need to be downloaded. And there are times I need to convert things or edit things. And what's really great is I can go to 123apps.com and probably perform those very simple tasks instead of trying to search for umpteen different websites to do this. So let me give you some examples, video tools. They just came out with their video editor, which is very similar to ClipChamp. Just a little bit more basic, but again, these are free. And then Screen Recorder, it's very similar to Screencastify. But again, it's not going to two different programs. It's just going to one program if you're trying to do these quick, basic functions. There's more things, removing a logo from a video. Oh yeah, trim the video, rotate a video, change a video speed, resize the video, flip a video, stabilize. If any of these are interest to you, go to 123apps.com and try them out yourself. You don't need to log in. And there's 50 of these really free tools for you. You. Audio tools, this one I'll give an example of. So I love Audacity and on my MacBook Pro, it's great to use, but on my Chromebook, I can't use it. So let's say I wanted to change volume or speed or pitch. All I have to do is even, I can just click on any one of these and they're probably gonna take me to the same space. I'm pretty sure of that, I always say, pretty sure. So I'm going to take this isolated harp from Dance Macabre. Did you see how fast that loaded? I didn't do any editing there. It just loaded that quickly. The speed is a slider, so as it plays, I'm going to change the speed. Shift the pitch. The volume. And let's equalize it. Now I might have overdone it, but it's showing you what it can do. And of course to save it, you can put it in all, a bunch of different files. Do you see that? If I want the AAC file, sure, let's save it. And it's doing that for me. And it's quick. <laughs> Click save, save and there it goes. I mean, really just such a cool site. So video, audio, PDF tools. Do you need your PDF to go to a Word or to an Excel, JPEG, PNG, HTML, or maybe reverse it, Word to PDF, JPEG to PDF? This is really cool. Again, those really quick functions that you need a site to do, but you don't want to search out all these different sites. Then converters. There's so many times I need to convert audio from one format to another. So I can click on this audio converter, open the file, and then change to the other formats I might be needing. And that is great. It might not have everything, but remember it is free. So free versions usually have limitations. And of course we end up with the archive extractor. It's a really, really great site. 50 tools, all free, you don't need to log in. Now, if you wanted to, you could pay for the premium version. You still get all 50 tools, that doesn't change. It's just that if I were to do what you just saw me do, I could only do it four more times and then I'm done with the free. I'll have to wait till the next day. But it's unlimited in the premium for files per day. And of course, the size file is affected and it's limited in the free version. But again, if you're doing things very quick and simple in a one-stop shop, this is great. And then of course, speed, it is fast. 
that is fast i can't imagine how much faster now with the ads i'm perplexed i haven't seen them show up so if you have used this and seen ads please let me know i haven't so seen again it. one two three apps it's a one-stop shop to really just do some basic functions so you don't have to search the web to find it it is absolutely free you do not have to log in if you do not want to if that has changed please let me know in the comments and this is just a great little little um, tool to have again it's another fun tech tip and it's number seven out of seven days